MSN exam for meningitis. Question 1. A nurse is putting together a presentation on meningitis. Which of the following microorganisms has not been linked to meningitis in humans? A. S. Pneumonia. B. H. Influenza. C. N. Meningitis. D. C. L. Difficile. Answer. D. C. L. Difficile. C. L. Difficile has not been linked to meningitis. MSN exam for meningitis. Question 1. A nurse is putting together a presentation on meningitis. Which of the following microorganisms has not been linked to meningitis in humans? A. S. Pneumonia. B. H. Influenza. C. N. Meningitis. D. C. L. Difficile. Answer, B. Thank goodness, I'll only be in isolation for 24 hours. Patient with pneumococcal meningitis require respiratory isolation for the first 24 hours after treatment is initiated. MSN exam for meningitis. Question 2. The mother brings a child to Answer. C. Place in respiratory isolation. The initial therapeutic management of acute bacterial meningitis includes isolation precautions, initiation of antimicrobial therapy and maintenance of optimum hydration. Nurses should take necessary precautions to protect themselves and others from possible infection. Question 5. A four-month-old with meningococcal meningitis has just been admitted to the pediatric unit. Which nursing intervention has the highest priority? A. Instituting droplet precautions. B. Administering acetaminophen Tylenol. C. Obtaining history information from the parents. D. Orienting the parents to the pediatric unit. Answer, A. Instituting droplet precautions. Instituting droplet precautions is a priority for a newly admitted infant with meningococcal meningitis.
acetaminophen may be prescribed but administering it doesn't take priority over instituting droplet precautions. Obtaining history information and orienting the parents to the unit don't take priority. Question 6. A client is admitted and has been diagnosed with bacterial meningococcal meningitis. The infection control registered nurse visits the staff nurse caring to the client. What statement made by the nurse reflects an understanding of the management of this client? A. Speech pattern may be altered. B. Respiratory isolation is necessary for 24 hours after antibiotics are started. C. Perform skin culture on the macular popular rash. D. Expect abnormal general muscle contractions. Answer. B. Respiratory isolation is necessary for 24 hours after antibiotics are started. After a minimum of 24 hours of four antibiotics, the client is no longer considered communicable. Evaluation of the nurse's knowledge is needed for safe care and continuity of care. Question 7. Patrick, a healthy adolescent has meningitis and is receiving IV and oral fluids. The nurse should monitor this client's fluid intake because fluid overload may cause A. Cerebral edema B. Dehydration C. Heart failure D. Hypovolemic shock Answer, B. Thank goodness, I'll only be in isolation for 24 hours. Patient with pneumococcal meningitis require respiratory isolation for the first 24 hours after treatment is initiated. MSN exam for meningitis. Answer B. Respiratory isolation is necessary for 24 hours after antibiotics are started. After a minimum of 24 hours of four antibiotics, the client is no longer considered communicable. Evaluation of the nurse's knowledge is needed for safe care and continuity of care. Question 9. Which of these patients in the neurologic ICA will be best to assign to an RN who has floated from the medical unit? A. A 26-year-old patient with a basilar skull structure who has clear drainage coming out of the nose. B. A 42-year-old patient admitted several hours ago with a headache and diagnosed with a ruptured barionarism. C. A 46-year-old patient who was admitted 48 hours ago with bacterial meningitis and has an antibiotic dose due. D. A 65-year-old patient with an astrocytoma who has just returned to the unit after having a craniotomy.
Question 6. A client is admitted and has been diagnosed with bacterial meningococcal meningitis. The infection control registered nurse visits the staff nurse caring to the client. What statement made by the nurse reflects an understanding of the management of this client? A. Speech pattern may be altered. B. Respiratory isolation is necessary for 24 hours after Andy. Question 11. A 5-month-old infant is admitted to the ER with a temperature of 6 degrees Fahrenheit and irritability. The mother states that the child has been listless for the past several hours and that he had a seizure on the way to the hospital. A lumbar puncture confirms a diagnosis of bacterial meningitis. The nurse should assess the infant for A. Periorbital edema B. Tenseness of the anterior fontanel C. Positive Babinski reflex. D. Negative scarf sign. Question 2. The mother brings a child to... Answer, B. An isolation room three doors from the nurse's station. A client with bacterial meningitis should be kept in isolation for at least 24 hours after admission and, during the initial acute phase, should be as close to the nurse's station as possible to allow maximal observation. Placing the client in a room with a client who has viral meningitis may cause harm to both clients because the organisms causing viral and bacterial meningitis differ, either client may contract the other's disease. Immunity to bacterial meningitis can't be acquired, therefore, a client who previously had bacterial meningitis shouldn't be put at risk by rooming with a client who has just been diagnosed with this disease. Question 13. The nurse is assessing a patient and notes a Brodzinski's sign and Koenig's sign. These are two classic signs of which of the following disorders? A. Cerebrovascular accident CVA B. Meningitis C. Seizure disorder D. Parkinson's disease
Answer. B. An isolation room. Answer. D. Lumbar puncture. Meningitis is an infection of the meninges, the outer membrane of the brain. Since it is surrounded by cerebrospinal fluid, a lumbar puncture will help to identify the organism involved. Question 16. Dexamethasin improves mortality and meningococcal meningitis. A. True. B. False. MSN exam for meningitis. Question 16. Dexamethasin improves mortality and meningococcal meningitis. A. True. B. False. MSN exam for meningitis. Answer. B. An isolation room three doors from the nurse's station. A client with bacterial meningitis should be kept in isolation for at least 24 hours after admission and, during the initial acute phase. Question 19. A client is admitted with a diagnosis of meningitis caused by nsriaminitides. The nurse should institute which type of isolation precautions? A. Contact precautions. B. Droplet precautions. C. Airborne precautions. D. Standard precautions. Question 16. Dexamethasin improved. MSN exam for meningitis. Question 6. A client is admitted and has been diagnosed with bacterial meningococcal meningitis. The infection control registered nurse visits the staff nurse caring to the client. 
What statement made by the nurse reflects an understanding of the management of this client? A. Speech pattern may be altered. B. Respiratory isolation is necessary for 24 hours after antibiotic. Question 16. Dexamethasin improves mortality and meningococcal meningitis. A. True. B. False. MSN exam for meningitis Question 22. A client is arousing from the coma and keeps saying, just stop the pain. The nurse responds based on the knowledge that the human body typically and automatically responds to pain first with attempts to a. Tolerate the pain. b. Decrease the perception of pain. c. Escape the source of pain. d. Divert attention from the source of pain. Answer, C. Escape the source of pain. The client's innate responses to pain are directed initially toward escaping from the source of pain. Variations in individual's tolerance and perception of pain are apparent only in conscious clients, and only conscious clients are able to employ distraction to help relieve pain. Answer, D. CL. Difficile. CL. Difficile has not been linked to meningitis. Question 9. Which of these patients in the Answer, B. An isolation room three doors from the nurse's station. A client with bacterial meningitis should be kept in isolation for at least 24 hours after admission and, during the initial acute phase, should be as close to the nurse's station as possible to allow maximal observation. Placing the client in a room with a client who has viral meningitis may cause harm to both clients because the organisms causing viral and bacterial meningitis differ, either client may contract the other's disease. Immunity to bacterial meningitis can't be acquired, therefore, a client who previously had bacterial meningitis shouldn't be put at risk by rooming with a client who has just been diagnosed with this disease. Answer, C. Escape the sword. Answer, D. CL. Difficile. CL. Difficile has not been linked to meningitis. Question 25. 
When interviewing the parents of a two-year-old child, a history of which of the following illnesses would lead the nurse to suspect pneumococcal meningitis? A. Bladder infection B. Middle ear infection C. Fractured clavicle D. Septic arthritis Answer, B. An isolation room Question 16. Dexamethasin improves mortality and meaning of cockle meningitis. A. True. B. False. Answer, C. Escape the source of pain. The client's innate responses to pain are directed initially toward escaping from the source of pain. Variations in individual's tolerance and perception of pain are apparent only in conscious clients, and only conscious clients are able to employ distraction to help relieve pain. Question 25. When interviewing the parents of a two-year-old child, a history of which of the following illnesses would lead the nurse to suspect pneumococcal meningitis? A. Bladder infection B. Middle ear infection C. Fract- Answer, C. Escape the source of pain. The client's innate responses to pain are directed initially toward escaping from the source of pain. Variations in individual's tolerance and perception of pain are apparent only in conscious clients, and only conscious clients are able to employ distraction to help relieve pain. Question 2. The mother brings a child to
Answer C. Escape the source of pain. The client's innate responses to pain are directed initially toward escaping from the source of pain. Variations in individuals tolerate. Question 2. The mother brings a child to the health care clinic because of severe headache and vomiting. During the assessment of the health care nurse, the temperature of the child is 40 degrees Celsius, and the nurse notes the presence of knuckle rigidity. The nurse is suspecting that the child might be suffering from bacterial meningitis. Answer C. Escape the source. Answer C. Place in respiratory isolation. <laughs> 